everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to be checking out the all new Marvel Legends Disney Plus What If The Watcher Builder Figure Wave and wow what a stellar wave this has turned out to be. Now it does in fact take a total of six figures to collect in order to actually build the Watcher not including the zombie Captain America as you do in fact actually get a seventh figure in this wave that being the Loki inspired version of Sylvie. Now this particular figure I'll be taking a look at separately just as I wanted to focus solely here on the What If figures and I'll be reviewing her alongside Mobius so be sure to stay tuned for that review coming incredibly shortly but overall as an actual wave this is by far one of the best Marvel Legend pickups that I've actually had this year honestly they've been absolutely knocking it out of the park with the Infinity Saga and now with this wave and of course some of the other figures that they have planned towards the end of the year really exciting times ahead so without further ado we are in fact going to be reviewing each and every one of these figures and we'll kickstart this video off with what is in my personal opinion the highlight out of the entire set and of course it is the zombie version of Captain America I mean wow this figure has just turned out so so wicked this really really does look awesome from pretty much every single angle. I think the Marvel team absolutely knocked it out of the park. This figure is incredibly detailed, really well painted, and just as an actual visual is really, really shocking as I don't actually think we've ever really gotten anything like this from Marvel Legends, at least and not in a very, very long time, and I think the figure itself is fantastic. As we take a closer look here at the details, you can see in regards to the face sculpt, it looks exactly like we've seen from some of those posters and promotional art that's come out for the What If series so far. Sadly, I haven't actually watched any of the episodes yet, just as I'm incredibly impatient and would rather bin watch them all rather than wait week by week but it definitely does look like a really nice show judging by some of the trailers and clips I've seen and I'm really intrigued to see how this zombie version of Captain America does in fact play into it all but you can see here for the actual jaw you can see where the skin has begun to stretch we've got some musculature detailing there going on for the jaw you can see various different gaps going on for the side and it's actually incredible that they've managed to paint as well as sculpt all of those teeth even on the interior section so you can see where this piece of flesh does in fact actually overlap the teeth but that doesn't prevent them from actually painting that which is just super super cool you can see the eyes there picked out in a really nice almost yellow paint with the red protruding around the side. The actual helmet section looks really, really impressive. Some fantastic looking sculpt work going on. And as we turn our attention here to the back of the figure, you can once again see that decomposing bluish tone that we've got going on for the skin. And considering the skin's become dehydrated, you can actually see the spinal section protruding from the back. Just such a fantastic looking release. As we turn our attention once again from the side, just to focus on some of that interior detailing, you can see some nice blood splat there on the chin, as well as some really nice tongue and mouth detailing. Honestly, that face sculpt just looks fantastic and it continues all the way throughout the figure so even here for the neck you can see some fantastic looking tendon detailing as well as once again some of those muscles as we turn our attention to the suit section honestly this is the most intact of the suit is in fact going to get you can see there that we've got the golden captain america insignia slap bang we've got some ribs sticking out here to the side which look really really impressive you can see how they do appear to be using that 3d printing technology in order to apply the blood splat but i actually think it looks really really well done definitely some fantastic looking sculpt and paintwork going on and then as we just spin our attention here to the back you can see the shred suit as well as once again some of those ribs sticking out here from behind you've got the harness here which has also become decomposed as we take a look here towards this arm you can see how it's been completely stripped of the suit but once again you can really see how that skin has become dehydrated really began to compress some of those muscles and i just think this looks so so nice with this bluish tone of course we've got the blood splat going on here for the top you can see really nice looking sculpt work going on here for the hands as well as the interior there of the palm and this arm also is just as detailed if not even more detailed as you can see we've got parts of the suit which has been shredded off you've got pieces of it literally hanging off which is just so so cool you can see some nice gore there for the actual forearm section you can see how the glove piece has become to rip into pieces and then as we turn our attention here to this lower part this is probably the most bland piece of the entire figure considering there's really not all that much decomposition actually going on for this but to be honest i don't think the wash they've applied to it looks too bad at all and then we turn our attention to the thighs which is by far my favorite aspect of the figure as you can see here the thigh bone actually sticking in the between the middle and you've got all of these different gashes as well as holes in the actual skin it just looks super super cool Cool. you can see here super awesome internal detailing just full of gore full of bluish flesh as well as of course the ripped suit just such a fantastic figure literally massive chunks missing out of the side really really cool looking design and then as we just turn our attention here to the back of the figure you can see how this part of the suit has been completely shredded he's completely missing his boot whereas this one for the most part has actually remained intact which is quite surprising and you can once again see that bluish tone going on there for the shin as well as the toes which two have also been sculpted impeccably well so overall in regards to detail this figure gets a 10 out of 10 for me. He is undoubtedly one of the most detailed Marvel Legends figures that I've ever picked up. And believe me, it doesn't stop there as the articulation on this guy also is wicked. Now, before we actually get down to that, one thing worth mentioning is that as far as I'm concerned, this is a complete brand new sculpt as they do appear to be using that pinless tech on this figure, which I will be honest and say actually looks so much better than I was expecting. You can see we've got no pin joints here for the actual elbows, nor here for the knee joints. And that is definitely a step in the right direction. And it's something I hope to see on all Marvel Legend figures going forward. And it does appear as if though they are moving into that direction more and more. 
before. But in regards to articulation, we get a fantastic ball joint here at the head, which can look up to a fantastic degree. So you can definitely get him into some ground crawling poses. He can, of course, look down, which is awesome. Tilt side to side to a really cool degree. So you can get him discontorting himself, which is really, really awesome. Full 360 rotation here at the head. We do get a full rotation here at the shoulder as well as a hinge joint out to the side. Full rotation at the bicep, a double joint here at the elbow, which can bend to a fantastic degree. Full range of motion here at the wrist, as well as a hinge joint back and forth. We do get an upper ab crunch, which can rotate on a ball joint all the way around, left to right, as well as crunch forward to that far, as well as back to that far. We do, in fact, also get a waist joint, which is really, really cool. Turning our attention here to the legs, these can kick forward to that far. Not quite to 90, but definitely not too bad. Kick back to about that far, out to the sides, full rotation at the thigh, as well as a double joint going on here for the knee. And the same also applies here for this leg. And then finally, we do, in fact, get a boot cut here. And then we do get an ankle rocker pivot side to side as well as forwards and backwards. And the same does also apply here to this foot. So this can also hinge forwards and backwards and side to side. And it doesn't end there. This figure also does in fact include the Captain America shield. Now this is the same sculpt that I believe we've seen for pretty much all of the previous MCU versions of Cap. So you can see how it's been cast out of this metallic red. Some nice blood splattering going on here. And then as we just turn to the interior, you can see completely cast out of red with the straps. And this can be inserted into either of the figure's hands. So once again, it's really up to your own personal preference. You can simply just slot that there over the top and have him, of course, carrying around his vibranium shield, which, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure he'll get much use out of, considering that he is incredibly torn up. But definitely such a fantastic figure and is no doubt my favourite out of the entire wave. Definitely 10 out of 10, where this particular release is concerned. Then we move our attention here to Doctor Strange Supreme, probably my second favourite out of this entire wave. I once again think that this figure has turned out super, super nice. Sadly, I haven't actually watched the most recent episode of What If. As mentioned, I am waiting to binge watch the whole season, but I have seen some of the stills and promo pics, and for the most Part, this figure looks pretty much spot on to what we'll see on screen so once again great work from the marvel team but you can see bringing him in here for a closer look i think the face sculpt looks super super nice i really love how they've almost tunified some of these real life actors so you can definitely see benedict cumberpatch in there but in regards to a sculpt once again just looking fantastic the paintwork looks so so nicely done you can see the strands of hair sticking out across the forehead really nice looking paintwork under the eyes and the cape is just a sight to behold this is a brand new sculpt the cape and it looks so so nice even here from a back perspective you can see all of the sculpt work that's going on this really nice golden paint applied around the edges which once again also has been sculpted impeccably well and not to mention the actual interior so we've got a very glossy purple with some really nice golden highlights of course it's removable as per tradition with all of the strange capes sadly i don't think it attaches to the figure all that well seeing as it is quite a big piece and it doesn't fit flush with the figure's shoulders it does have a tendency to actually become knocked around and i do wish that maybe it could have been cast out of a slightly firmer type of plastic as it really doesn't take much to actually knock this off when posing the figure and you can see how it does sit slightly too loose on him but other than that i think it looks really really impressive you can see here for this torso region nice looking sculpt work going on here as far as i'm concerned the arms are a brand new sculpt but from the torso downwards this does appear to be taken from the previously released three pack infinity war version of doctor strange i could be wrong but the legs definitely do look familiar and i'm not entirely sure about this particular piece but you can see some lovely looking sculpt work going on for the biceps as well as here for the gauntlets we've got some really nice looking hand detailing turning our attention down to the lower section we've got these robes and the sash i think this all's turned out really really nicely and of course as mentioned before Beforehand, the same legs as the previous Doctor Strange from Marvel Legends but really really nice looking sculpt work and you can see here for the boots we've got some of the buckle and braces and just overall a stunning looking figure now in regards to articulation the head can look up to a pretty decent range as well as down of course tilt side to side rotate left to right which is awesome we do get rotation here at the shoulder although it is slightly restricted due to the nature of the design you could probably push it but personally i don't want to force it and actually damage the plastic we can of course ratchet this here out to the side which is really cool full rotation there at the bicep double jointed elbows we get a full rotation here at the wrist hinge joint back and forth we do in fact get a ball joint here at the waist so this almost acts as the ab crunch so sadly not the greatest range of motion going forwards or backwards but of course it can rotate left to right and due to the nature of the design automatically the legs are slightly restricted but you can still get a pretty decent range of motion kicking out at least for this leg whereas this one is a little compromised but actually not too bad surprisingly he can do the split pretty well we get a rotation there at the thigh as well as a double joint here at the knee although how effective that will actually be for your posing experience i guess we'll just have to wait and see as of course the cape is rather long and then finally here for the boot this rotates as well as an ankle rocker pivot forwards and backwards as well as side to side so overall for Doctor Strange Supreme I think he looks fantastic really nice looking sculpt and paintwork and the articulation surprisingly despite the nature of the design is actually pretty good now he too also does include one accessory and this is definitely taken from that Infinity War 3 pack Doctor Strange that we got so you can see here that it is I believe the time effect that has been stuck to the hand now this looks fantastic I think the sculpt work as well as the actual cast 
screen they've used that looks really, really impressive. Very nice looking accessory. And of course, we just swap out this hand here and then take this here, insert this into the joint. And there you've got Doctor Strange with one of those time magic effects looking super, super cool. So overall, just a fantastic figure. Another highlight from this set. Him and the zombie cap are definitely my two favorites. Moving swiftly along here, we've got one of the main characters out of the wave, that being Captain Carter. Finally, she's making her debut in What If, and I'm really hoping that eventually we do in fact see an actual MCU live action version of this character. But for now, here we have her in her cartoon version. And to be honest with you, I actually think that this figure too has turned out really nicely. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this figure is 100% brand new so really really nice job from the Marvel team you can see in regards to the head sculpt definitely very accurate to what we see on the show you can see once again some of that realistic aspect but once again slightly tunified in order to match her on screen appearance I think the hair sculpt looks really really nice albeit a little soft but once again we are dealing with characters of which are animated I think the color of brown they've used is pretty decent once again utilizing that 3d printing technology which looks really really nice especially for the rosy cheeks we've got going on for the side the eye detailing as well as so those eyelashes too are also super super impressive and then of course seeing as I'm British I absolutely love to see the Union Jack applied onto a figure and this looks fantastic. The paint apps surprisingly have turned out really really clean despite there being quite a lot going on for this particular design. So you can see the red and white stripes all looking fantastic. As we spin around here to the back we've got the buckle and braces much like you would expect from Captain America. And then here for the arms completely cast out of blue and much like that zombie cap we have in fact got pinless technology used on this figure. So no pins for the actual knees as well as for the elbows which is fantastic. And it's a female figure with double jointed elbows and considering this character is so popular I'm super glad to actually see them in Incorporated for this release that is so so nicely done you can see the red all turned out really nicely nice detail where the brown gloves are concerned we've got one open and one closed fist which is super cool and then as we just take a look here to the actual belt section you can see some nice pouches as well as some silver paint there for the buckle really nice looking sculpt work as we turn our attention to the back you can see some of those subtle red details and then of course here for the boots very very nice looking sculpt work then we turn to our articulation which once again is actually pretty good so for the head it can look up sadly not to the greatest degree due to the nature of the design it would have been great if perhaps Perhaps the hair was slightly more pliable to allow for a better range of motion but I guess it is what it is the head can look down as well as tilt side to side very slightly it can in fact rotate the full 360 we do get a full rotation here at the shoulder hinge joint out to the sides full rotation there at the bicep the double jointed elbows once again super fantastic to see it not only included for this figure but also on a female body we get a full rotation here at the wrist a hinge joint back and forth sadly not the greatest ab crunch it can go forwards I'd say roughly about that far but you can see how it is in fact slightly fighting me it can go back to about that far as well as tilt side to side rotate left to right no form of waist rotation or at least that i can find on mine maybe it's just paint stuck but i definitely don't want to force that the legs here can kick out not quite to 90 which is slightly unfortunate it would have been great if we could have got drop down hips but still they can't kick back at all kick out to the side slightly full rotation here at the thigh double jointed knee which is super super cool and then finally here for the foot sadly no boot rotation and then as we turn here to the foot this can hinge forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side albeit the the ankle rock pivot is slightly restricted due to the thermal type of plastic that they've used here for this overlay so overall in regards to articulation i'd say that it's pretty decent areas such as the abs as well as the actual hip joints i wish were slightly improved and if they were improved then this figure would have been pretty awesome but as it stands it's still a very very nice release now sadly we don't get any form of interchangeable hands with this particular release but we do in fact get her captain carter shield now of course to match her suit we've got the union jack really nice blue and white paint apps really really nicely painted actually and then as we just flip here to the sides you can see completely cast out of white plastic with some new straps and I do believe this is a complete brand new sculpt so if I just compare it with the zombie cap you can see how it is significantly smaller when in comparison to this previous shield now this can be held on either of the arms to be honest with you it doesn't really peg on to any of them better than the other so I tend to just simply remove this wrist here slide this over the top and then of course just take the wrist put that back in and then try my best to wriggle this here over the top to give you the impression that she's holding it but it's an incredibly loose grip so to be honest you're better to utilize that hinge joint and actually sort of curl that in in order to get a much better grip and i will be honest to say she looks fantastic when wielding this shield it is just a shame that there isn't a tight fitting grip for this hand and the strap but overall once again another smashing looking figure really just the articulation that's ultimately letting this figure down in the lower section next up we have t'challa star lord honestly a really good figure once again this wave is just super super strong a brand new sculpt completely i can definitely tell that maybe the accessories are a slight reuse from some of the other star lords but the actual body as well as the head sculpts are all 100 percent new so if we bring him in here for a closer look i have in fact got the masked head sculpt on the only reason as to why i've done this is because believe me when i do put the unmasked sculpt on there's really no way of me pulling that off without actually taking the entire ball joint with it so that is slightly unfortunate but we might as well go over this accessory now you can see the masked sculpt actually looks really really impressive very very nice looking sculpt work as well as once again paint apps the paint apps for a massive 
mass-produced figure have turned out super, super nicely. And the Hasbro team truly are absolutely abolishing pretty much all of those import companies for a fraction of the price. They're doing such a fantastic job. You can see here, really nice looking texture going on for the hair sculpt as we turn our attention to the torso. Very, very streamlined, very animated in regards to the design. I think it looks fantastic. You can see we've got some nice looking details going on for the purple jacket as well as some nice golden highlights. Much like Captain Carter in the zombie cap, a complete pinless body. So no pins going on for the elbows nor here for the actual knee joints, which is super cool. As we spin around here to the back, you can see some nice looking sculpt work going on. Really, really nice looking detail going on here for the arms as well. And you can see the actual finger sculpt too is pretty decent as well. Really, really impressive. And the guns have also been sculpted very, very nicely. Once again, we've got that metallic purple as well as gold in there for the tips, as well as some nice gun metal actually cast for the main section. But turning our attention back to the figure, you can see some really subtle golden highlights here for the top of the hips. And then as we just spin our attention down, really, really nice streamlined design as well as some nice grey sections going on for the shoes. And as an actual design in general, I think this looks super, super cool. Really, really interesting to actually have T'Challa as Star-Lord. And it's actually an episode that I'm incredibly excited to watch. So we'll very quickly go over the head swapping gimmick. Luckily, the masked head sculpt comes off a lot easier when in comparison to the unmasked head sculpt, which actually has got a fantastic amount of detail applied to this. So you can see in regards to sculpt work, smashing. Really looks how it does on the show. Really, really nice looking paintwork as well. No paint blemishes, which is excellent to see. You can see the beard there, the eye detailing, the nose, the lips, the eyebrows, as well as the hair and the ears, all looking super, super awesome. And then we turn to articulation. The head can look up to a terrific degree as well as down. It can, of course, tilt side to side. Full rotation. We do, in fact, get a full rotation here at the shoulder. Out to the sides. Full rotation there at the bicep. But double jointed elbows, which can bend way past 90. Super, super awesome. Full rotation here at the wrist, as well as a hinge joint back and forth. As we turn our attention here to the ab crunch, this can crunch forwards that far as well as back to, I would say, roughly that far before the jacket does slightly hinder it. We do get a great range of motion kicking forwards, definitely to 90. Not so much going back, but still not too bad. Out to the sides, full rotation at the thigh. Double jointed knees, which is great. Sadly, they can't quite kick all the way like we've seen from some of the other figures, but due to the boot design, I can excuse that. And then finally for the foot, this can pivot forwards and backwards, as well as also rock side to side to a fantastic degree. So once again, another great standalone figure, really, really impressive details, and looks almost spot on to what I've seen from some of the promos, as well as stills from the Disney Plus What If series. Next up, we've got Nebula, an incredibly different take when in comparison to her MCU debut. Instead of being more mechanical, she's a lot more organic, which I actually think is a super super awesome what if design now as we bring her in here for a closer look as per tradition with these figures an exceptional looking head sculpt that really does match her appearance from the show you can see how we've got the hair going over this section of the eye which i believe is actually damaged or it may in fact be a cybernetic component of course i haven't watched the show but i've seen some of the images and i do believe that this section of the face is in fact slightly scarred but you can see really really nice looking face detailing metallic purple used for the eyebrows as well as there for the lipstick and as we turn our attention to the back of the hair sculpt once again really really nicely sculpted as well as painted blonde and you can see here for the back of the figure, some nice looking detail. As far as I'm aware, this does in fact reuse quite a lot of components from the actual MCU version of Nebula that I believe we got in the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 wave. So the legs are definitely a direct reuse and I believe some of these torso components, but the arms are definitely brand new. You can see completely cast out of blue, seeing as they're not mechanical, they look a lot more humanoid. Really, really nice looking sculpt work going on here for the hands. These do actually look vaguely familiar. I can't quite place where I've seen these before, but I don't think they are 100% new. But definitely nice looking sculpt work. Of course, we've got this very stylistic alien gun. I think the sculpt work looks really, really nice. Definitely on both sides. And if you didn't want the figure to hold it, you could simply just fasten it here in the holster on the side of the leg, which also is a very cool look for the figure. This is a separate piece. But once again, very nice looking sculpt work going on all the way down here to the boots, but if you own the MCU version of Nebula, you'll know exactly what to expect where this is concerned. Now, in regards to articulation, she does in fact have a swivel joint here at the head. Due to the hair sculpt, it is slightly restricted, so she can't look up all that great, but she can look down, tilt side to side slightly, as well as rotate left to right. Full rotation here at the shoulder, hinge joint out to the side. Sadly, unlike Captain Carter, we only get a single joint here at the elbow, so this can swivel as well as bend only to 90, which is slightly unfortunate. Full range of motion here at the wrist, hinge joint up and down here for this hand, whereas on this one it does in fact go back and forth we do get a crunch here but it's very restricted you can see how it can't really crunch forwards it can crunch back side to side rotate left to right i do believe we also do get a waist swivel as well the legs can kick forwards that far pretty decent as well as back to that far out to the sides rotation at the thigh double jointed knees very well articulated due to the very slender design and then finally here for the foot this can pivot forward and backwards as well as of course rock side to side and in addition to her gun she does in fact also come with a pair of interchangeable hands so we get 
one fist hand, which is super cool, and then another trigger holding hand for the opposite side. So pretty decent accessories, and overall it's a pretty decent figure, but definitely not one of the highlights for me. I do think there is slightly too much reuse going on, and it would have been great to have seen them actually implement double joints onto those elbows. But other than that, as an actual standalone piece, it definitely doesn't look too bad at all. And wrapping up with the single carded figures, here I believe we've got what they're calling the zombie hunting Peter Parker, or zombie hunting Spider-Man. Really peculiar looking design, definitely looks incredibly interesting, but out of the whole wave, this is by far the biggest letdown, and it's all mainly down with the body that they've used. The articulation really isn't all that great, especially for a Spider-Man, but bringing him in here for a closer look, the details are definitely the major redeeming aspect of this figure, especially the head sculpt. I think this looks really, really impressive. A complete brand new original sculpt. Very accurate to what we've seen from some of the stills of the show so far. I think the hair sculpt looks fantastic. Once again, you can see really nice looking sculpt work going on for the face, such as the jawline, the nose, as well as the lips, and even the ears too have also been sculpted really nicely. And that 3D printing tech definitely looks incredibly impressive. For whatever reason, he's got Doctor Strange his cape applied over the top. I'm not entirely sure whether or not this is a brand new sculpt. I do believe this is a carryover from one of the previous Doctor Stranges, but definitely really nice looking sculpt work going on for the back. I think the colour of red they've cast this out of looks pretty decent, and unlike the actual Doctor Strange Supreme that we got, this isn't pegged into the back. This simply does just go over the top of the shoulders, so it's completely removable, and that does just allow us to focus on some of those back details. Really, really nice looking paint going on as well as sculpt. I think the suit actually looks really impressive. It just doesn't pose the best, but we'll touch base with that in just a second. You can see here, very, very nice looking paint and sculpt. We've got the web shooters here, as well as the web shooting hands. He does, in fact, come with an interchangeable pair of hands. But you can see very nice looking texture going on here for the blue sections of the suit. Sadly, considering I believe this is an older mold, we do, in fact, get pin joints here for the knees, which isn't the best but you can see some nice damage here to the actual foot section. And overall, I think the figure's been painted and sculpted impeccably well, but then we turn it to articulation. So we do get a pretty decent hinge and ball joint, so this can look up and down as well as tilt side to side, really and truly not that much. It can look left to right, no butterfly joints, which is super unfortunate. The arms can rotate the full 360, hinge out to the sides, rotate there at the bicep, double joints here at the actual elbows, which can bend to a pretty decent range. And considering there's no pins on these, I do believe these are in fact a brand new sculpt. You can see we get a full rotation here as well as a hinge joint back and forth. Sadly, we merely just get an ab crunch here, so no sort of ball joint, which is slightly a shame, but we do get a rotation going on here for the waist. The legs can kick forwards that far, back to that far, out to the sides ever so slightly, really not all that much. Full rotation here at the thigh double joints here at the knee and then finally for the foot this can pivot forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side so really if they had applied a ball joint here for the torso and had given us some actual butterfly joints here for the top of the shoulders I would have been really impressed with this figure it really is just those elements which are letting this guy down and considering it's spider-man those are definitely points that you would expect from this particular release now as we get into accessories of course he comes with a masked head so you simply just pop that off and then we can bring in this masked version so just snap that there over the top you can see pretty nice looking sculpt as well as paint apps there for the eyes definitely suits the suit and then here for the actual interchangeable hands we merely do just get a pair of fisted hands but personally i'll more than likely be keeping the web shooting hands so overall by no stretch of the imagination a terrible figure but just out of the whole wave in general definitely the weakest at least in my personal opinion and then finally to wrap up this mega review here we will conclude with the builder figure watcher and i actually think this is a really really nice looking figure when this was announced to be the builder figure i was actually incredibly impressed i wasn't expecting them to release this guy and I think he's actually turned out a lot better than I was expecting of course the articulation is slightly restricted due to the nature of the design but in regards to an actual display piece this guy definitely looks pretty impressive now as mentioned beforehand you will in fact have to collect six figures not including the zombie cap he is the only figure which doesn't include a builder figure part but all of them as well as Sylvie are needed in order to build this guy and he's definitely a very very big release of course we'll bring out some size comparisons in just a second but bringing him in here for a closer look of course we've got this huge bulbous looking head very very nice looking sculpt work i actually think the color as well looks fantastic of course is a little more saturated when in comparison to some of the other figures that we've taken a look at in this wave but you can see there we've got the really really menacing looking white eyes very very nice looking sculpt work going on where the mouth region the nose as well as the cheeks are concerned even here at the top you can see the temples really really nicely sculpted as well as the ears and as we actually take a look at the back of the figure you can see some nice detailing going on here for the behind section of the neck which is an area that you won't really see due to this particular piece now as we turn our attention to the actual torso of course we've got this massive looking golden plate slap bang in the center very nicely sculpted as well as painted you can definitely see a really nice looking reflective tint and i do love the texture that they've tried to apply with the paint apps that looks very impressive of course we've got the robe over this arm so it's slightly drooping towards the end but the finger detailing looks very very nice 
And as we turn our attention to this arm, you can see really nice skin texture detail, as well as this golden section, which much like the chest piece has been sculpted and painted in a way to give you the impression that it is made out of a metal material, which I think looks really impressive. You can see very nice looking sculpt work going on here for the fingers and the actual robe section itself. Check out the sculpt work for this. This looks so, so impressive. So inside it's got this texture. And then as we turn here to the back, you can see how it's very smooth in design, but really, really nicely sculpted. I do love the position that they've put this in. And sadly, due to the nature of the design, you really don't see any of the sculpt work going on for the legs however i do wish in some ways i hadn't actually combined this before the review but we do get double joints going on here so we'll no doubt see these legs used for a future figure as it stands with this release the articulation is pretty much redundant due to the very firm pvc that we've got going on for the robe but nice looking sculpt work going on here for the toes and overall i just think it's a pretty awesome looking builder figure now in regards to articulation the head can look up so i'd say about that far down tilt side to side rotate left to right full rotation here albeit slightly restricted due to the nature of the design this can hinge out rotate there at the bicep double joints here at the elbow full wrist rotation as well as a wrist which can hinge back and forth this one's slightly different a little less articulation going on due to the nature of the design so can rotate forwards and backwards out to the sides rotation here at the elbow only 90 here at the elbow and then of course just a rotation and as mentioned beforehand despite us actually having all of the joints that we would want out of the legs you can't really access them due to the nature of the design but overall as a display piece i think the watcher looks really 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 impressive and here here for a very quick comparison just as i know the watcher does in fact show up in the doctor strange episode you can see that he absolutely towers over a standard six inch figure so definitely really nice scale going on where these particular releases are concerned and as mentioned beforehand it's definitely a very very nice looking display piece and so some final thoughts for the all new marvel legends disney plus what if the watcher builder figure wave overall i think this wave is fantastic pretty much all of these figures are knockout releases by hasbro in particular of course would be that zombie cap as well as doctor strange supreme but even the likes of captain carter as well as the T'Challa Star-Lord are all really, really impressive figures. And the Nebula 2 isn't too bad either. It's just not a standout for me. And where that zombie hunting Peter Parker slash Spider-Man is concerned, I'm definitely not all that impressed with him, just as I would have loved to have actually gotten butterfly joints where the shoulders are concerned. But definitely some stunning figures in this wave. If you had to pick only one, of course, it would be that zombie cap. I think the figure looks fantastic. Exceptional attention to detail. Some of the best sculpt as well as paintwork I've personally ever seen on a Hasbro Marvel Legends. And then as we turn to the builder figure itself, the Watcher, whilst it may not be that articulate, due to the nature of the design I think it's a super cool looking figure really imposing really intimidating and I believe is in fact the first time in a very long time or maybe even ever that we are in fact ever getting a watcher from Hasbro so super glad to actually have this figure in the collection I would love to know down in the comment section below on what you guys think of this wave of course it does also include the Disney plus version of Loki's silver